paper chin it on. First, we have the loading screen. Press the home button. There's the welding process selection where you can choose make, take, MMA, or spool gun. And we will go further into details of the make process. For me, there are four gas type 100% CO2, mixed gas, 100% argon, and flux core without gas. And let's do a quick, uh, quick setup of the mid process. Here we are in mixed synergy mode, and it tells us it's for 100% CO2 steel welding. Dump a little bit. Here we have the fine adjustment of voltage. Rotate to have narrower or wider welding bed. Down here we have the plate finish. And in the middle we have the session for welding voltage, welding current, as well as the wire fitting speed. On the right, from top down, here we have the input voltage. Now it's 380 volt. By press the configuration button, we can adjust the inductance. Choose different wire diameter. Select 2D or 4D. We can also set up the post gas time and adjust the slow start wire fitting. And we also have the wire chip button. As well as the gas chip button. For me, we have mid manual as well as the mix synergy. And it's always recommend to use mix synergy as it's easier and quicker to set up and weld. So what exactly is mix synergy? Well, mix synergy is a very smart setting. You see, when I increase the welding current, then the welding voltage as well as the pretty finish they are all going up on their own too which actually reduce the amount of time to do the calculation of what the right amount of voltage is Then let's try it in tick. Here on the right there's a very handy diagram. It tells us where we should plug our earth pan and where we should connect our lifted torch. It's a small but very useful reminder. Let's move on to 
MMA. Pressing the configuration button, you can adjust the hot start, R force, as well as turn on or off the VRD.